What is going on, everyone? So, just decided to randomly, you know, log in. It's after 2 a.m. in my area, and oh yeah, I want to do my dailies and all that other nonsense, and go to find out the dimensional hole is finally out. Now, I will go ahead and say that I did take a brief look at it. Uh, however, I haven't done any farming. Basically, all I did was go through the dialogue. If you wanted to read that dialogue, I do apologize. Me personally, I don't really pay attention to all of that. Um, so again, I do apologize if you wanted to read that. So what it seems like the dimensional hole is, from what I'm able to garner right off the rip, is this first dungeon right here, the remains, is where you're going to farm the crafting materials. Now, I'm not entirely sure what these crafting materials are for yet, but we'll figure that out. Uh, and whereas the Forest of the Roaring Beasts here is where you're going to farm the ancient runes, the ancient enchanted gems, and the ancient grindstones. So I'm really curious to dive into that in just a moment. Uh, I would really like to go through and take a look at some of the units that they have changed with this second awakening thing. So, one of the units that basically is getting a pretty substantial buff is Beledion. The Second Awakening gives it to where Beleli or Bella's first skill will also decrease the attack bar by 15% with the first skill. And the second skill is a 100% chance to remove beneficial effects and also recovers Bella's attack bar by 30% if you attack an enemy who does not have any beneficial effects. So it's a bit circumstantial on, you know, how useful that skill is, but it, it can be useful. I use my Bella often enough to know that will be nice. Oh um, now, how do I... Zan, how did you look at their, uh, their stats? Holy fuck. Okay, so the Inagamis are ridiculous now. All of them. Every single one has Bella's first skill defense break without a 50% bullshit. Every friggin' one of them. Let's go ahead and take a look. There we go. Alright. Also, look at the wind one. It's an amazing defense-based nuker right Whoa. now. Oh! All, everything does defense-based damage, and it has a speed lead. Damn! Yeah, those look are some... Look at Crow. Second skill team up, allies deal increased damage per harmful effect now. Whoa! Third what? Skill, third skill brands. And you're trying to tell me I ruined the stream. <laughs> the water one's interesting, too. The number of allies you attack... Wait. The number of allies you attack together increases up to three according to your defense. Meaning it's basically Stella, but instead of speed, it's defense. That's so. There's going to be like a you have to different. get X amount of defense threshold for then that to you know pick the max number of things. Very interesting. Okay, another unit that ended up getting a buff was the War Bears. And go away, malware bites. No one cares about you right now. All right, so perfect example here. Look <laughs> at Ramagas's <laughs> base stats <laughs> for starters. Those Sorry, base stats are comparable to Ariel. Yep. That's I think a smidge insane. less HP. Like 500-ish less HP, I think. Okay. Second skill. The same. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure that heals more now, I think. Third skill is the same thing. Okay. Okay, Excuse so... Me, so that didn't really change anything about that. So Ramagos has, like, 300 base health lower than Ariel, and, like... 30 defense lower base than aerial. Flex damage that's proportionate to the HP you consume. That's interesting. Okay. You know, it's funny because they really did go through and make some of these units really interesting. Uh, I know that another unit that they did was these girls here. Um, they made some of them pretty interesting. I actually may end up building a Neil now because the nice thing that they changed about her is her second skill heal is now based off of her uh, off of her max health. 
rather than her attack power. So also, that's fair and interesting tidbit. Uh, Ramagoss's first skill. I don't know about the other war bears, but Ramagoss specifically, the attack bar reduction is no longer a chance, and it's a one extra defense buff turn, like one turn extra defense buff, as well as a harder heal. Huh. Okay. So yeah, they definitely went through and uh, changed a fair number of things. That being said, it also seems like, from what I've seen so far, there's there's no cooldown reduction on the skill ups, which means the mon the unit's usable right after you awaken it. You don't need to skill it up. I mean, you'll get like a smidge more healing or damage or something or harmful effect rate, but yeah. I haven't seen cooldown yet. I need yeah. to actually, like, specifically look right. for that. Well, okay, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and hop into some of these. And just... Yeah, there is a cooldown. And on just smother. see. So, is this the... What Bella? Does it have a cooldown on the heal? Okay, I, th I think we'll go ahead and do this one first. Um, let's go yeah. ahead and do... So, yeah, Bella would be usable immediately. Okay, so the element does change for these. All right. Because Bella's after you awaken, it still has a four-turn cooldown on the heal. And you can only use four stars in this. Okay, so let's go ahead and Are you and doing throw... test mode? No. Do test mode. Why? In case you fail. I we doubt... We have no idea of the mechanics. I highly doubt I'm going to fail level 1. Okay. Like, if they made it difficult enough to the point where level 1 you fail, then they fucked up. Well, they're supposed to have done weird mechanics. At least for the bosses. Let's see. Let's see. Some good nat 4s. Let's go ahead and find some good nat 4s. What do we got? What do we got? Twins. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, that's my faster Cheyenne, so we'll go ahead and throw her in. Guess we'll throw her in. Before everything's water. And we'll go ahead and just do her. And you need to run Bella, or you need to run an Inagami? Yeah. I have Bella right there, because that's the only one that I have built. I'd probably run either a third twin, or something like Bernard. Well, that's the reason why I was going to run Fran. It's just your twins are slow and we have no idea. I mean, like, when they added Labyrinth, we're thinking, oh yeah, you know, this will be easy. You know, we have no problems with, like, any of the content in this game, and then we get shit on. We're like, oh, that's nice. So, I don't know. Just say I'm a little gun-shy because of fucking Labyrinth. So it looks like everything's going to be water. Yeah, it looks like everything's gonna be super easy. And now we get to add another skip kind of automatically thing. Yeah. God, I love the way they look. Yeah. And only Bella got the experience? You saw okay. that? Yeah. Hold on, what does it take to Second Awaken? Like, let me look at this really quick. <laughs> it just requires experience. So it's, yeah. It's, Ju Jubegel it's already went over that. Interesting. How much, um... You, you got, got was point... it 32,000? I think that's what the number I saw, or was it 3,000? What was the number that I it, saw? I don't think it was a number, an, it was just hey. a percentage. No, pay attention to the number that pops up right okay. above Bella's head whenever the boss dies. All right. I think it was like 32k. All right, let's see. Okay, I, I can just skip that now. Whatever. And goodbye. Right here. Plus okay, 420. 420. Okay, 420. So it's AXP. Okay, that's why I thought it was a bigger number. Yeah. Because AXP. Also, I find it funny. They're showing a Nat 5 right there, but the one that I'm currently doing, you can't even use a Nat 5 in. Yeah, you can use Nat 5s in the... Uh, and what, the, 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 like, the more raid-sounding one? The one that drops like the runes and the grindstones and shit? Uh, no, I think it's just the fairy one. It's just you're forced to use something of the same... Was it... Uh, I think was it Ow. Elemental? I can't remember now. I read it a couple no, days back.
almost feel like you should throw Vardy in instead of Bella. Or, uh, you mean uh, Bernard? Bernard, sorry, yeah. That. Oh, excuse me. Okay. So, I mean, we start off with 100 tries, and it's going to take a long time to get those back up. Yeah, two hours per energy. So, which one should we, like, do first? I mean, really thinking Bella, maybe? I don't have Brandon Goss built. I only have Bella. She's yeah, the only one I can do. Yeah, but look at the other uh, the other options. The ones we don't have actually built. One of them might end up standing out more than the others. Oh, no, I understand that. But, I mean, truthfully, I don't have the means to build any of them right now anyway. So I'm just going to concentrate on Bella. Um, and, you know, end up seeing if that's a, you know, like a worthwhile change. I mean, I guess we'll see. I mean, because really the only thing you get with Bella is just a smidge more healing and a little bit of attack bar control if you use Bella in, like, R5 like I do for my second team. Mm -hmm. Though the healing might... I don't know, I'd have to actually math it. Because, I mean, it goes up by 5%, yes, but you lose, what, 30% in skill-ups? 20% in skill-ups. So, technically, it's a 1% less heal until you get that skill up in it. Then it'll heal a little harder. But, I mean, that's almost okay. negligible. And what, five's the highest, right? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's just see if they run it. I'm pretty sure they're not going to have any issue with it. Probably not. I mean, you have a speed lead now, which helps. Um, no, not it doesn't Very, work. It showed the it, it wasn't um lit up. No, it was I thought it was lit up. No. I don't know what this is considered. I thought it was lit up. I'm gonna have to look at that. Pretty, I'm pretty confident that it wasn't. The art style definitely looks interesting, though. Mm -hmm. But, like, the area. Oh, come on. Is it, do they have a click on the little um, gearbox thing? Little gear. Attacks all enemies to weaken defense for two turns, and attacks all enemies to disturb their HP recovery for two turns. The gear. See if there's a so, like auto attack boss, boss battle. Attack order. There you go. Thank you. I completely forgot that was a thing. I haven't had to you know manually do that in. So 960 <laughs> experience from that one. Which gave about one percent. Fuck. So it's gonna take all the. <laughs> oh okay. god, the whole thing just to just do one monster, and if you fail yeah. it once, you're screwed. I'm uh, assuming there's a revive option though. Yeah, let's... Oh, so they ah. refund you twenty. Is that per day? Uh, I guess yeah. I mean, with how late this update is, I feel like they really need to, like, give us something. Yeah. Alright. So, I need special. Okay, so it's going to take 30 Ancient Magic Stones and 10 Ancient Magic Origin per Ancient Reap. Okay. Okay, how do we do... Oh, there we go. Ancient Runes. Oh, by the way, you should let's probably just do, let's just click on that. you should probably summon these before you wait until your next uh, stream time. Until Zaros in the rotation. Yeah, uh, ancient magic stones and Karzin's rune ore. 
Okay. I mean, I don't really like how much it takes of that. So we can actually craft them. Yeah, we can. And you can select from these two lists. You already know that we're all going to get either Endure or Energy every single time. <laughs> or Accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's interesting. Let, let's go ahead and continue delving into this, especially considering there's an event going on right now that allows you to get some, you know, some tasty refunds. Okay. Uh... I'm not really that worried about that. I'm curious about this. Alright, so this is the same thing. Can only use Nat 4s. So I'm just going to use the same Nat 4s. I'm going to throw in uh, Bella. I'm going to throw in Verdi. Woo! Oh, wait, I stand corrected, babe. Verdi Speed Lead does work. I yeah. stand corrected. See? Um, Farron, the Fire War Bear sounds really bad. Like, bad to have to kill. It deals double damage if it's a counterattack. Oh god! <laughs> Oi, malware bites! Stop! Ah! It also added, I think, pretty sure it added a provoke to its second skill, kind of like the um, druids, with a 50% chance. And the counter blow, uh. Prov uh it's. So I'm pretty sure it's still just a one turn item. Uh, is that a three turn? Pro I can't tell if that's a three-turn provoke, or if it's just a one-turn provoke and a three-turn counterattack. It doesn't specify. Like, the exact wording is, provokes all enemies with a 70% chance and counterattacks every time you receive damage for three turns. Wait, phases? Whoa, 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 hold, hold, yes. hold, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Every time you get it down by, like, I think a certain amount of health, it summons different adds. And then it does different abilities depending on what adds are there. Okay. Well, considering this is level one, I'm not gonna really worry about it. Oh, get the kill. I was expecting it to be a, like a, a a percentage. That's what I was thinking too, actually. Okay. Well. Okay. This is probably the one that I suggest doing the test feature on. Don't yeah. Know. Yeah. Well, uh, phase two. Let's just, let's just go ahead and set it for that for now. We'll probably end up changing that later to pen... Yeah, it does that. Okay. This is going to be interesting. That was an ancient rune, right? It was just... It was a legendary three-star. Yeah, but like... I didn't see it say ancient. Neither did I. I mean, I don't know if that's really going to be a... Well, is it just a... Can it drop regular runes? Pay attention to that. I wonder yeah. if it can actually drop regular runes. I feel like if it can drop regular runes, That'd that's kind of, kind of a stupid. rip. Yeah. Considering it takes so friggin' long to get energy, and then you're going to be wasting the majority of it on trying to get the uh, second awakenings of some stuff that looks yeah. like it's going to be pretty damn fun. I know, that's what I'm wasting all mine on. Fuck the runes. <laughs> They're all going to roll garbage anyway. This game has taught me anything about runes, is they always roll what you don't want. Yeah. Though, so hopefully, we actually end up finding, like, a half-decent ancient rune, so we can roll it and just kind of see what it does. I definitely feel like that would be kind of interesting. Um, so, I mean, these are interesting. Let me... Why is it not letting me click on anything? There we go. The water war bear is kind of meh. Okay, so this passive that he's getting right now is his attack speed increases anytime that he gets attacked. So because I'm using multi hits, interesting. It's making it stack really quickly. Did you look at the light this warrior? Right? No, I haven't. It's a Ramagos that doesn't need to take damage. It just says drops your HP to a low amount and charges towards the enemy. Inflicts damage that's proportionate to the HP you consumed. Hmm. So I don't know if it's a one-to-one -one ratio. But that's basically the Ramagos that you don't have to have hurt. He hurts himself. Hmm. And then he has, you know, the same second skill. Very interesting. Oh, and he has as much base HP as, like... Yeah, he has 12.5k base health. Damn! And 769 base defense. 
Okay, all around, he has better stats than Ariel, including speed. Yeah. Uh oh. The dark one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh oh. Oh god. Oh. Okay. So stage three. He just one shot my water twin. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Come on. Let's keep going. Come on. The dark one's kind of wet in there. What about the fairies and pixies? Okay, so one thing I'm noticing so far is that nothing in here seems to be fast. I mean, honestly, I was half expecting it to be like Hell Mode and Labyrinth, where, you know, things were stupid quick. But that doesn't really seem to be the case. At least so far. I mean, this is only level 4, so I guess we'll see what ends up happening once I hit level 5. <laughs> the Fire Fairy has the same base attack as Theo Mars now. Oh, That's sorry, the fire, sorry, the Fire Pixie. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like a fairy, though. Yeah? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, the skills are basically the same thing. Except it does continuous damage with its first skill, too, now. Uh-oh. Oh! Yeah, it didn't kill me this time! Dick. <laughs> Oof. Huh. I think Shannon might be used again. Yeah, they uh, they changed her uh her skill with her second awakening and made her good. Are you sure Shannon not the water one? No, they have the same same skill. But um, she's an AOE defense breaker now. Whoa. Okay. It's an AoE attack speed slow and defense break, with no, like, bullshit chance. I'd recommend putting that on t test mode at this point. Because, like, you almost just wiped. No, what I think I have to do is just change my team. I need to bring a tanky. Let's see, who can I bring? Who would- <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, what? That's a wind element, right? Um. Click level plus. It doesn't show. It looks like he's. Is it no element? <coughs> it might be no element. Looks like it's wind. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and give Garrow a shot, and we'll go ahead and throw in. Alternately, you could alternately you could totally like copper dozer it. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that would really work. We'll try this. See if they auto it. If they don't, then... You know. And honestly, I probably could twins it if my twins were really fast, but... So pep talk didn't change at all. And decelerates... Oh. This one's decelerates completely different. So Shannon doesn't um, AOE defense break. It's only the uh, the water one. Oh. Hmm. This one's just attack bar absorb and attack speed slow. So <coughs> Shannon's still crappy in my opinion. <laughs> With the light one. <laughs> what? That's interesting. Revives a dead ally and fills up the ally's HP by 15%. Revives another ally with, with a 30% chance. So you can end up just, like, popping two revives. Oh, also, I want to say that Garrow's passive doesn't actually work here, by the way. It, it just did. It did it? 
I remember reading yeah, it's, something about... I saw his passive, he did not actually die. Okay! Well, GG Bella. Oh, okay, so his passive does work. I think it might have been a good idea to have brought Garrow. Except that stun is... Yikes. Nope. Wait, he just hit through it, didn't he? The boss itself did, yeah. yes. Yeah, I remember reading that. So, Farron, did you just lose a point? Because you didn't do the test like I suggested? Shut up. The Dark Pixie has Samoth's second skill. Except with a 100% chance. Basically. Huh. Plus a attack speed decrease. That's interesting. My... Let's try this. Let's try this, team. Let's see if this works. It also has 111 base speed. Huh. Do these yes? I guess that one awakens in the speed or something? Or does it just have, do Pixies just have 110 base? Hold up, do Pixies just have 110 base? Yeah, Pixies just have 110 base. I love fairies. Fire fairies in that three right again. This is definitely very interesting. through immunity? I don't know. It would seem not. Passive that increases damage by 30% for each harmful effect on the enemy. But it's the one with the second skill heal, so it, all it's gonna do is just poke things with its first skill, hitting 60 or 30% harder per debuff. Huh. That doesn't. I mean, the first skill's interesting. It has a 60% stun chance times 3, but then if the target's immune to stun, it reduces the target's attack bar to 0 with a 60% chance. Well, technically 70 with skill ups. It's really interesting. 
interesting. The Light Fairy. Did we read about the Light Fairy already? I think so, yeah. In the change notes. Okay, there we go. That team worked. Beautiful. Three minute clear time. Are you serious? Oof. Is that a... It was a hero room. Yeah, but... What are the... Have you even found what an ancient rune is? No, not yet. Okay, so that's... Maybe just all the runes there that drop are ancient? Okay, so that's interesting. And then this one is only the monsters of the same attribute can enter. So the first one is four stars and lower. Second one is monsters of the same attribute. That's like the boss. Then this is the experience thing. Because from what I noticed is every time that I was clearing it, you know, with the Bella in the team, on the boss stage, Bella wasn't actually getting any experience towards the second awakening. That is definitely really interesting. It's really, really interesting. Let me go ahead and power through my world boss right quick. Honestly, I'm really curious to see some of the units they end up adding to that second awakening monsters list in the future. The Inugamis and Warbirds actually seem pretty good. The other stuff seems kind of meh, except for the Water Pixie, which has an AoE defense break. I can see that being good, except it's another Water AoE defense break. We've already got enough of these. Yeah. I mean, hell, I'm working on building my third Galleon. And you have Lure. Mm-hmm. I feel like we need, you know, more different element water, or, then you know, different element than water AoE defense break. Yeah. Wait. I wonder what Jewbagel's response was to seeing that pack with, like, 14 devil on. We're technically a series of packs. <clears throat> Sneeze. Oh, I, had, I had to yeah. double take. <laughs> like, wait, what, 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 hold up. Yeah, that's that's another thing we're going to touch on. Okay, so usually anytime Com to us comes out with a relatively big update, you know, like this one, for instance, they like to release packs like this. And if it wasn't for the fact that I'm tight on money... Come to us would get my money. Dude, it's like... This pack... By the way, here's a free, fully skilled up, or skill ups for a pony. Yeah. Yeah. 13 like, Devilmon. What? 13 Devilmon. Two legendary attribute scrolls. Seven regular attribute scrolls, along with 18 mystical scrolls, and 4,500 crystals. $200 for all of the packs. Oof, is all I really have to say in response to that. I, uh, I kind of wish, I kind of wish I had a spare $200 lying around. I do. I won't lie, but I don't. I mean, technically I could put it on, you know, credit cards and everything, but not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Ridiculous, though. Like, I mean, believe me, I can use every single one of those Devilmon right now. Every single one. You know what would be funny? Huh? Watch th watch this, what they're doing. They're just like, alright, let's let's put out this pack. Just to just to see who buys it. Oh, and by the way, Summoners, the joke's on you. We're making Devilmon easy to get now. Because <laughs> I almost feel like with that many Devilmon in packs, I feel like... What, are they planning on making Devilmon easier to get? Like, can we buy three a week now or something? Like, you're oh, about to do that? I would love that. Where you get, like, four or six or something from TOA? I would love that. I mean, if we need all these Devilmon to, well, skill up these nat twos and threes that we've had for years. Yeah. 
I feel like they well, honestly, need to make things a little easier, you know? Let's go do some theory. One unit that I'm kind of hoping they add to it is Colleen. Because Colleen has good base HP, yes, but her base defense is god-awful. I definitely feel like Colleen could use a little bit of an upgrade. If nothing else, just in the base defense. I, I want to say no, just because Colleen is, well, one of the most used monsters in this game. She's a staple in everyone's nat, uh, R5, R5 team. team. Yeah. That being said, I mean, I'd love it to be a thing, but their whole point of, or at least from watching that video with uh, the dude like explaining things, their whole reasoning was they just want to see people using the monsters that nobody uses. And since people use Colleen in R5, like, crazy, they might not do Colleen. That being said, they might do Colleen and just not really buffer a whole lot because they might want to do the rest of the family. Yeah, maybe. Because I was thinking they might not do Bella, except that Bella... Nobody really uses Bella anymore. It's like yeah. a really good early game thing that everybody tells new players to get super fast. But then, you know, you get to end game and nobody uses Bella anymore. Unless they're me and, you know, use it in, like, Siege and it's Frontline R5. But not really a whole lot of people even do that. No. Not at all. Yeah, it's this dimensional thing is definitely going to be interesting... I'm really curious to see what some of the people end up coming up with uh, for effectively these buffed units. Because after looking at the War Bears, for instance, uh, some pretty legit changes, all things considered. So I guess we'll see what ends up happening with it. Can I can I get a scroll or something? No. Screen game. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and jump back into it. <sighs> ah, that was just plugged right now. Feels awful. All right, so I think I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do this. And, um... Yeah, we'll do that. Well, that does that. I'll be right back. Much better. Much, much better. But yeah, this new content stuff is definitely very interesting. Um, I mean, one of the downfalls is, is, okay, if you can farm the level 5 of this one, then whatever unit you're trying to get your second awakening on gets 1%. Meaning you have to run the dungeon 100 times to be able to evolve it a second time. Now, in the same token, that's not necessarily a bad thing, because it'll give you a chance to farm up some of the crafting mats for the ancient reaps. Um, and uh, what was the other thing? <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, what can... Um, drop info... Okay, maybe we have to do the other one. Wait, what? Oh. Remember how you had to use the Inigami for one, so now you have to use the Warbear for the other. And you don't have any Warbears built, do you? No. Well, it gives you an excuse to throw runes in a Ramagos. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Where's my Beth? Wait. Nope. <sighs> um... Ooh. 
maybe Roosevelt because he actually has an AOE. And buff himself, make him hit harder. Roosevelt's great. Oh, it, it actually is like, okay, so I do have to have a war barrel on the team, no exceptions. Yes, that's what I told you. Well, that's annoying. You need a war barrel. So, like, you just throw runes on a Ramagoss or something. Though, I don't know if you'll be able to clear all the way up to the last wave with a handicap like that. You might be able to. Alternately, you can just log into my account and do it with my Ramagoss if you wanted to do it for the stream. Because I do have a Ramagoss. crowd control all of these so people uh for those of you who end up struggling to clear the level five and whatnot it seems like you can just run a toa-esque type team and you should be okay oh god here's something we could test huh you know how you can't stun bosses like just say for example oh, um what is this the last one which yeah. one is this? I was trying to see if uh, a little bit of a safer team would have been a better idea, but it seems like I am very much mistaken. Is that the hardest one? Yeah. Okay. With Verdi, they're able to clear it. Yeah, because Verdi's retarded. It's Verdi. There's a reason I use Verdi in my TOA hard team. Uh, but anyways, I was saying, um, so you know how you can't stun... The, uh, like, certain bosses, but you can sleep them? Yeah. I wonder if you can sleep these. Hmm. I mean, it's easy enough to test. I have a Hathor. Well, this is a Nat 4 one. Oh, okay. Well, then, uh... What Nat 4 okay, sleeps? That doesn't work. Do um, I have a Nat 4 that sleeps? I mean, I have, uh, what... Yeah, you could use that, or you could use, um, Sonnet. I don't have a Sonnet built, but that is an option. I think I just fed my Sonic, so I kept it for. Let me go ahead and throw my Verdi back in because that team actually works. Don't know how reliable it is yet, though. Honestly, the might not be a bad idea to go after the ads because the boss gets some pretty interesting things with the ads. Like, cause he does a lot of team up stuff, and then like he makes the ads stun when they attack together, or he just makes the ads stun. Or do other effects. Like, it adds effects to their skills. So it's probably safer to kill them. At least until you, you know, get enough damage or turn advantage. Can you run duplicates? I'll see. The only problem, though, is trying to run three twins means you're going to have to either pull out Vertihill, which then you're just going to be wiped turn one, or you're going to have to pull out Bella, which the game won't let you. It also looks like this thing is pretty high resistance. Go, Verdi! <laughs> Go, Verdi! You don't have to kill this one multiple times, right? No. Okay. Yeah, that's just the boss. That's the awakening thing, or whatever. I mean, yeah, it seems like that team could be fairly reliable, just because Vertihill's OP. I mean, I figured twins are probably, like, really one of the best options you can use for something like that. You know, only allowing Nat 4s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, other good options. Um... Tyrant, honestly, I feel like would do pretty pretty well here. Um, ever since Tyrant's buff, I'm actually trying to skill mine up now, but I've been having issues pulling skill ups, so there's I don't that. I think, I mean, he'd be good for the 
ad, wait, there were ads before, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, yeah, there's two waves before the boss. I mean, he'd be good for that, but... But then there's also, like, the attack bar control and the speed slow that he offers for, um... True. You know, the other thing. Speed slow would be nice. Oh, check it. Derp. There we go. Um... Did I ever get my siege reward? Yes, I did. Okay. No, let's go ahead and pop one of these right quick. It's almost like an obligation. New big update. Must summon a premium pack. Right? Right, can't earn any more social points. I need to, uh... Well, let's hope you get a Zyra. Mess with that tomorrow. And the tower in there, too. Alright. Oh, first one, lightning. Oh my god! Ho! Oh. oh my oh. god! Oh! Not a Zyros, but... Oh, I bet you'll take the fuck out of that. <laughs> Blueberry Chimera. Hey, now you can't be jealous of mine. Now you can only be jealous of the runes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are we gonna get a third lightning? <laughs> the dream. Nope. And I don't have enough summoning stones. Wow. Okay. Um. I was not expecting that. Well, I know who your next six star is going to be. <laughs> you know who my next six star is going to be? And hey, I can finally use my awakening force. There we go. Whatever. Done. Done and done. Beautiful. Teor is god. Alright. Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. That's from I started drinking game. Like how it was not How I Met Your Mother. Every time I say um, take a shot. Uh, definitely was not expecting that. It's nice that you finally did, you know, didn't get another dupe. And dude, I know you really wanted Teor. Oh, like, yeah. Like the way that you've talked about mine. <laughs> you desperately wanted a Teor. Probably not as much as you need a Zyros, though. Yeah, but I love Teor. Yeah, but Zyros is like an absolute necessity if you have Tiana. The dude, Teor's so OP. Oh, and before anyone rages at me in the comments about it, yes, I understand that Teor can farm without experience. I. I just don't care. Well, I mean, you need something to use the rainbow or the angel mon on. Yeah, it's just technically it'd be more efficient to wait until he was six starred. Would it be? Probably. I mean, because like right now he's not ruined. When he's six star, he can farm easier. Wow, not one of those lightning really game. Yeah, no, you, know, like you, you know whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not even mad. Um. Time for. Okay. So, yeah, definitely exciting. Well, somebody, somebody just pulled another Chimera. Oh, the wind one. Yeah, really was not expecting that. Anyway, for the dimensional hole tidbit. Uh, good morning to you, Ultima's Weapon. Uh, sorry, I just now noticed the, uh, the messages. I'm, uh, excited, because I just pulled Teor. But yeah, uh, the Dimensional Hole is definitely interesting. Fuck the Dimensional Hole. It's all about them new fucking Second Awakening craps. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, really, I only have one unit right now that I can do the Second Awakening on, and that's my Bella. So, 
We're gonna be working on that. Light Warbear seems Oh, great. nice, grats. Rakan's great. Love my Rakan. I use him all the time. <laughs> I really need to get his crit rate up, but... I need to get mine's speed up. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing that mine has on yours, is just yours is a little bit tankier than mine, and you have a lot more crit rate than me. Yeah, I have, like, plus 28 point something thousand health and 86 crit rate, and pretty high crit damage. is like 160-something, 168, 167. But he's slow as balls. I mean, only plus 32 speed. That's pretty bad. Yeah, mine's double that. Actually, more than double. I mean, to be fair, my Zhao Lin has my, you know... Like, probably best vampire runes? Yeah, my... <laughs> it has my, uh... My Rakan runes, basically. Like that, uh... Six slot, six star HP percent... Uh, or, yeah, HP percent with 22 crit rate. Some speed, some attack percent, and some crit damage. Oh, you ran into a, uh... A god Rakan? God Rakans are always fun. Those don't exist. The only time those are a thing is they're just pretending and it's RNG. <laughs> oh, this dude just got another hat flag? Which one? Ah, water unicorn. Me. Oh! Just to make sure that you know this. And anybody who watches this before events reset, again, currently there is an, or not an, but a refund event going on for the Dimensional Energy. If you use 20 Dimensional Energy, you'll get a refund of 20 Dimensional Energy. That way you can actually go through, you can awaken one of your net two or threes that are currently available, and then you can maybe, I don't know, farm up some runes for it or something. I, I don't know. So just please keep that in mind. Make sure you get those energies before everything resets. I have a Heal serious that, question. Plus 30k though. and with crit damage out the ass. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Um, okay, if you don't mind me asking, whereabouts do you normally sit in the game? Like, are you uh, a C1 player, a C3 player? Uh, you know, what kind of guild are you in? Things like that. Early game? Okay. Um, oh god. Oh no. Oh, and then... No, 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 And no. No! What did that hit? 27,000. That's not that bad. Nah, it's not. Oh, and... <laughs> Dicks! You don't get experience if you fail. Nope. That's annoying. Oh, um... But since you were early game and you probably want to hop on this whole dimensional rift thing, I don't think you were in the stream whenever I said it, you can use a TOA hard team uh, to clear these without much issue. Um, just well, make you sure... haven't tested that yet either. Well, true. I'll, I'll go ahead and test that next run. Because um, that'd be kind of a dick move to tell people it works without actually, like... Well, for sure. well, it's just based off of what I've seen. You know, it's just basically, you know, stack, attack, bar, control, dots, you know, and then just damage the boss by pecking at it. Is the boss immune to dots? I don't know yet. We need to find out if the boss is immune to sleep and dots. It's obviously not immune to attack, bar, control. Newbery. Man, I finally got Teor. Can't clear a Teor in normal yet? <laughs> don't worry, you'll get there. It always takes a little while to clear it. Um, honestly, uh, whenever it comes to clearing TOA normal, all you need is just the uh, very specific set of units. Shit, I still use a farmable team. Yeah, I mean, you can use a completely 100% farm team, and there you go. But that's more specifically because they made Verdi farmable. Um, God, Verdi's so ridiculous yeah. for TOA hard. So you don't want a TOA hard boss to get a single uh, turn ever? Do you do a lot of summoning? So who do I want a second awaken first? Shit. Do I want to do Bella? I mean Bella or Ramagos, one of the two. I mean, dude, imagine what those runes are gonna look like with the new base stats. That's gonna be nuts. Yeah. 
It's gonna be like uh, what? Plus like twenty six thousand health and like plus a thousand defense. Yeah. Something stupid. And yeah, RNG definitely plays a pretty big role in this game. Uh, more specifically with violent procs and RNG based units like Orion. Anything that kind of has a proc into additional turn or something like that. Got Gany, Poseidon, Sekhmet, Poseidon. P I, I seriously said Pisama. YDCB. It's Pisama. YDCB. It's not like, Samoth, it's Pisama. <laughs> um, well, actually, that's the issue that I had for a good long while. The, the first Nat 5 that I ever pulled was Ratesh. And don't get me wrong, he helped me out super, super early game. He was my farmer. Um, and after Ratesh, I pulled Rakan, and that's whenever I was able to start getting higher finishes in Arena, just because of those two units. More specifically, when I got them on Will Runes, though I wasn't really able to do much in the way with PvE until... Let me... What are my teams again? <laughs> what are my teams again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is my, uh, my Giants team, and what's the, let me look at my record, um, record, okay, so, Stella Siggy, yeah, my best time is with Stella Siggy, and double Lucian with Galleon, um, and my Lucians are not they're not speed fast. Though. Like they're not fast at all. My illusions are very, very slow. Especially Show them, for uh, my record, GB10 team, just so they can get a, an idea on what also works. Because I use twins. Well, keep in mind they're super early game right now, so it's might yeah, be a little here's wait. The thing, though. Like, well, yeah, no, because once you get twins, why build anything else when twins work for literally everything yeah. in the game? Okay, so case in point, Xanth is a little bit further along than myself. And he uses twins in all of his dungeons. And those are his best times. There's twins in every single one of his teams. So if you can manage to summon... Oh, you're waiting to pull Talia? Okay. You don't even need Talia. Uh, yeah, you really don't need Talia. Ideally, you want Sabrina and Cheyenne. Yeah, those are the only two twins I use, except for I'll use Melissa occasionally for, like, Giants, which I never run, or um, for these teams... Like, the, uh, the light dark, I just throw in all the twins and, you know, not use any... Because you can't use duplicates. Yeah. Because I do have two Sabrinas built. But you see the friggin' damage in the light and dark teams just from throwing a bunch of twins in. Yeah. Just twins. And the light one, twins are really bad at just because multi-hits are nerfed to hell, but it works just fine. <laughs> oh! Okay. There's so much damage, it's I have, stupid. I have access to... To all of my tasty units in this one. Let's see. Can I throw in? Okay, I can just throw in anyone that I want. Like awesome. especially for Dragons B10. Like how everybody wait. has all these old content videos. You can use. Oh. Wait. Can you not use Nat? No. Look. Oh, look. Okay. If I select a wind unit, I can only. Oh use yeah. You can only wind use units. wind units. Yeah. That's that's the one you can only use one attribute. Okay. I feel like that's really easy because you can use Nat fives. Decisions. 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 Hold up, can you throw in duplicates? Try to throw in two illusions. They're right next to each other. No. So you can only, so you can't use duplicates. That's Let's see, thankfully, I can do I mean you can do like Chasoon. Or yeah, Talia Sabrina. I'm, maybe you should try a fire team just to utilize Verta Hill. Because he's Right, Crazy yeah, strong. yeah, Verdi is going to be really, really nice for these. And you've got either Colleen, who would attack break, that could help. Um, or you could do um, Ikasha, who could also, not Ikasha, well, what the hell is the name of the fire one? The fire undying. Um, the thing that nobody even gives a shit about, but it's actually, like, stupidly overpowered. Uh, eh, what's her name? <laughs> the hell's her name? I don't remember her name. Ooh, pass drop. Ah, a ten a. Yeah. I mean, Let's she's say... almost Colleen. Oop, if you, here we go. You know. Maruna. Cheyenne. Oop, where, where is she? Okay, here's one. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. Yeah, you can do Cheyenne, Cheyenne and Antenne. Either Antenne or, like, Wahi. 
or Colleen? Because it has to be a fire. I think I like the thought of Colleen. I really like Antenna is like stupid. Just Colleen has a shorter Mm. cooldown because you don't have the. Yeah, it's just attack buff. Attack buff, yeah. They both they both attack break, but Colleen's more reliable. Uh, yeah. Uh, Well, I know for a fact that I have friend slots open. I'm assuming that you are on the U.S. servers. You mean the global? That, sorry, global. There's no such thing as a U.S. server. Korea doesn't like us. <laughs> yeah, I could try the Fire Nine Tails. I mean, we'll see what I end up needing. But uh, yeah, we're we're on global. Um, here, I'll. The problem with the Fire Nine Tails, though, is he would have to lose either one of the twins, which means you lose a significant amount of attack bar control. And if you don't want to go that route, you'd lose Vertihill, which, yikes. And if you don't want to go that route, you'd lose a healer, which I really feel like twins. Like, they're just... It, it's twins. The attack power and defense increases by 25% for each beneficial effect granted... Did that say on the allies? Or ah. on the enemies? Oh. Oh, wait, it's passive changes every... Okay. You might actually not want buffs here. Antenna might be better. Then again, I don't know. We'll see. Tax the enemy three times. You're going to have to pause it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, since you just typed my username in there, um, let me know if you want. I'll make an open slot or two. Because my well, yeah. uh, friend uh, list at the moment He, he asked, uh, do y'all have a friend slot open? He needs to farm experience and stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll go ahead and just make an open spot. <sighs> do I have anybody who hasn't logged in in a couple days? I know for what I do, but I still have open friend slots, so. There we go, perfect. It's level 19, hasn't logged in in a week. Goodbye. There you go. And... Yeah, there's one. Alright, go ahead and send it to KTIF again. Um, he should have a slot open now. And I just got a friend's request. Yeah, no problem. I mean... Uh, Enjoy Zeth- my Teor. <laughs> Zanth <laughs> and myself, we really try to help people out. Um, I'm not as enthusiastic about Summoner's War anymore as I used to be. But still, I do my streams every week because I tend to help people who actually come out to the streams. He's just jealous of me and he likes to compete with me way too hard. This is also true. So it makes him like <laughs> sad. And thank you for the follow, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, his Teor is really strong. My Beth is also really strong. That's going to be the rep monster. Uh, though, keep in mind that there are other things that I can switch to in the event that you need them. Like, example, we can rep our Verta heals, or I have a Varad, I have a Charlotte. He has this insane Rika. His Rika is... Well, it's offensive. So, it's yeah. not like, you know, for TOA Hard or anything. Or even for Hall of Heroes. Yeah, let me go ahead and uh, accept this. Dude, Rika's just too OP on attack or damage attack on violent. Yeah. Really, any occult girl's too OP on violent. Yeah. Oh, and Ultimas, if you were curious. Um, uh, there she is. That is the unit that you get to play with. And yeah, Violent Rika. His Rika is disgusting. And it's really well ruined. <laughs> it's still at a 5 star attack percent. However, once I get a speed grind, that's going to change. Because I have another rune that will give it much more crit rate, some crit damage. And it'll keep the same speed or lose one if I get just one friggin' speed grind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She dots like a fiend and she speed slows super reliably. I love Rika. She's another one of those units that I really, really want. But yeah, so all good. in time. I mean, I just pulled Teor, which was one of my most wanted nat fives in my top three. The top number one being Cyrus. My Rika's oh, crit damage what's... is like in the 160 something range. With like plus 1500 something attack, though it's still in a 5 star attack percent. And I think she has like plus 59 speed, something like that. Oh yeah. 
the problem with the wind version is any wind monster that doesn't ignore defense is kind of just shrugged off. Because yeah. everybody builds teams to prevent people from wanting to use Lucian, which makes wind nukers even harder to use. Yeah. Um, okay, so with where you are in the game, a Charlotte would be absolutely beautiful for you. Late game? She falls um, off really hard. She does. Now, don't get me wrong. Charlotte's multipliers are amazing. I used to have mine built offensive, but I kind of put her on more of a TOA build because I use her occasionally in TOA hard. But... Okay, hold up. Let me actually read this. Yeah, because that changes. Hold up. Attack power and defense increases by 25% for each beneficial effect granted on the Ancient Guardian, and the HP is recovered in proportion to the attack power at the start of each turn. Does she have a strip? Oh. Okay. Okay, you can stun the minions. That's a water boss. I just... That's a lot yeah. of glancings. That's not good. Is it always water? Or does it change? It's always water. Ooh, so they really don't want Verta Hill used here. That's not good. So basically do what? Like Orion and Susano? Maybe. Or just a bunch of wind? That being said, the boss can't glance if it has adds alive. I think. I think that was one of its mechanics. Because I think you just wiped here. Pretty sure you just wiped here. Because the next thing that's going to get hit is your Cheyenne, most likely. Yep. Hmm. Boss is kind of squishy, though. Ow. I mean, if your Vertigo goes nuts, but I don't really see that happening. Oh, no, definitely not. Yeah, and he's nope. got a healer. Alright, so, different team. Different team. Different team. Yeah, if I would have realized that boss had, you know, constant water element, then, yikes, yeah, I wouldn't have suggested a Verta Hill advantage. And, um, buffs might actually not be a good idea. I don't know, does it keep that passive where it keeps getting stronger per buff? Bark. Bark would be great. And you could use, like, I guess, what's her name? Uh, Charlotte Lead or something. I mean, Bark is crazy strong. Alright, let's try this. Especially if you're trying to just go hey, straight for the boss. I'm actually using my Charlotte. <laughs> and Bark. And Bark. I love Bark. My Bark is nuts, though. Alright, I feel like it's time for me to actually get into this thing now, since I finally finished doing my uh, Labyrinth and Guild hey, Battle and stuff. Need to be another, beer today. another beer? Sure. Hold my tablet. Holding tablet. As he would say, I'm holding his beer. Hold my beer. I don't have more beer. Yeah, he's out of beer, so, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Though, so, this dimensional hole. It's definitely interesting. I mean, I feel like I'm going to have to play around with it a bit more and also fool around with the Second Awakening to really figure out if I like it. But from what I can see so far, it's it seems like it's decently well done. I it, just realized something. My Bella's in a siege defense. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that siege defense already gets like a 60 to 75% win ratio. And the smart choice is to go after Bella first. Because, you know, defense break. And, um... Yeah, the second Awaken Bella stats with the runes that it's on. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go straight for Bella. That's... This one. So, Bella, Verdi... And then twins. Should be fine. Because I like that idea that you were running. Like that's 
Yeah, that's my fight, uh, Sabrina. Dude, I'm really curious to see what my Bella's stats are going to look like. Like, oh my god. Okay. Yay! Change of music. Damn! This guy has 738,000 subscribers just by posting a 24-hour hardstyle music stream. <laughs> yes, please? Why is that not surprising, actually? Okay, I definitely like how you can stun the ads. I feel like that's going to be extremely important on some of these. Especially for players who are a little bit more early game. Hey, Farron. Huh? The, um, the fairy one is always water, right? It would seem so. Offensive water homo. You might end up going back to that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Also, it does seem like you can attack, or er, yeah, you can attack bar control everything. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That was like we kind of tested just, that just from the beginning. It's just twins. You cannot see see this. Have you tried sleeping though? Haven't tried sleeping, but it does not stun. Well, yeah, but neither does the Hall of Heroes bosses, but they sleep, so it's worth testing. Yeah, though I have a sneaking suspicion you won't go to sleep. I have a sneaking suspicion they're similar to TOA bosses. Most likely, or dungeon. I think they'd be more similar to dungeon bosses. Oh, yes, However, by all means, go after my Ratesh. Can you dot the boss? Because you can dot dungeon bosses, you can't dot TOA bosses. Are you hurt? Fallen Blossom! Stop healing it! Two turn cooldown. <laughs> Thank you. Fran OP, man. Was that, yeah, that was the hardest one, right? No, next one is. Oh god. Alright, actually, let me go ahead and uh, collect this real quick. If the. There it goes, event page, thank you. Is there anything else in this? No, there is not. Any other events that I can get stuff from? Dude, I'm so... No. This is burning at my insides. I have to know what my bell is going to look like. It is legitimately killing me on the inside right now. Plus, I love the way they made the Inagamis look. Oh yeah, no doubt. They look so good. battle go wait actually fuck it I don't think it matters until I get to the last one maybe well let me just test for it. what battle, attack order boss to see if like um, oh if it sticks yeah I almost wonder if I should buy the Devilmon pack and just Devilmon Bella. <laughs> oh god, I feel so bad. It would hurt. <laughs> Even at max farming, it's going to take one to two hours to get second awakening. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong on that. And that's also assuming that you have all of the energy at the time. Yeah, which luckily they start us off with full energy. <laughs> yeah. 
That would be such a dick move if they didn't. But I mean, what? One energy every two hours, so that's 50 hours to get 100 energy. I think. No. You've, you've got that at 0.5 hours, so multiply it times four. Okay, 200. Also, Jesus. Okay, yeah, this thing is angry. Yeah, it just like one shot your bark. Well, it also has an attack buff. I feel like a stripper wouldn't be terrible here. Or block beneficial effect. You totally zinc it. Honestly, try throwing in like copper. Hmm. Because I feel like, I mean, honestly, defense based nukers have always just been like retardedly strong. I mean, you could totally throw in like copper. You hurt? Fallen Blossom. <laughs> Saw that coming. Because Chassoon does Chassoon things. Yep. Hold up, why is it healing? It heals every turn. Oh, well that's... You need to get the fence break back on it. Ratash, do your damn job! later. Our trash can's haunted. It seems so. I feel like I'm waiting on a bus. And unfortunately, one of the downfalls about me with and oh god, that wasn't with, its last phase. No, it was not. Oh no, is this its last phase? Yes. Okay, good. But you've got a fire druid. It's gonna be annoying. Yeah. At least it didn't provoke you. And Chasun taking the defense break. I don't think she's really gonna care all that much. Or she will definitely care a lot. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> then again, damn. then again, I keep forgetting your chassoon's not mine. My chassoon is damn close to yours. Yours has me by three hundred defense. Your chassoon has eight plus eight hundred defense. Plus seven sixty something. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Eat a dick, <laughs> Mister Godsoon. Well, here's the thing: you keep <laughs> pulling runes off your chassoon, so I can never remember what the fuck she's on anymore. I actually haven't pulled runes off my chassoon in a long time. I know you pulled a Marna, and then it was just like, oh, Chassoon's getting the shaft. No, I actually didn't do much and to my Chassoon. Goodbye, everybody. You. Oh. Oh, God. I stand corrected. That wasn't... Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm doing a slightly different team. Um, Jesus Christ. Delphoi? Instead of Chassoon, maybe? Because then you can use the defense lead. And then you'll have immunity and a cleanse. And Bark was a bad idea. Um, Skogel could probably be pretty good. You've got immunity, a single target heal, an AoE heal, a cleanse, attack bar control, stun, speed slow. A little bit of defense break. I mean, it's got a lot of backbone, but it sure as hell doesn't have a lot of, like, you know, kill everything fast. Dry water team? Oh, you're gonna try to... I don't know if nuking it's really gonna work because of how it revives over and over. Eventually, it's gonna catch it to where you're, you don't go first.
Susano wouldn't be bad because of that speed lead. And I mean, you know, Susano hits like a truck. Let's just give this a shot right, right quick. Because um, also, I actually want to test how HP scaling damage works on the boss. Yeah, I'm curious about that. I'm also just going to manual it, because screw it. Now try as you might, you're not keeping that thing alive. Come on. It seems like Bella Twins works really well against the, uh, the Dark Inugami boss. Like, my team hasn't failed yet, just autoing. Okay, so it seems like this thing doesn't really take normal HP damage. How hard is it getting hit for? Well, it might also have low HP for the first. Or it might just have a. Yeah, because it has, uh, what, four HP pools? Yeah. So it takes no, technically three. 20. Oh, God! Yeah, that's why I figured nuking it's not a good idea. Yeah, okay, well, learn that lesson. So it has so many HP pools that it's not really going to take much. It's like uh, the R5 boss, basically. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, nuke team, definite no-go. They just had to make it friggin' water. Of course. Like, that was a dick move, because Vertihill's too OP. You're like, fuck this nonsense. <laughs> Hold up, I have to test something. Do I have an extra one? Perfect. Alright, I just popped an experience booster. Does this affect the second awakening? That's actually useful to know. How much were you getting um, per kill? At nine, at the highest level? Level five, yeah. Uh, 960. 960, okay. So if I see over a thousand, I'll let y'all know. And I'll try win bar, but this team ends up drying. Um, the reason why I'm thinking it would be good is because whenever the minions eventually die... Skogel's gonna do some damage. Especially with how my Skogel is ruined. I'm still tempted to put my Fire Mermaid's runes on my Skogel. He'll have better all-around stats, except for, I think he'll have, like, plus 33k health instead of plus 30... Or maybe plus 31 instead of plus 34. But he'll be on Violent with, like, 50 more speed. So it'll be like plus 110 speed on Violent. And Violent's Gogols are pretty very nasty. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Yeah. No. Double, the double experience does not affect his awakening experience. It's still Aww. 960. I mean, I only had like 16 hours left on it in my inbox anyway. I wouldn't have used it, so. And I have another one with two days on it, so it's whatever. It's good to know, right? Yeah. So yeah, double experience does not affect... Oh god, Skogel's gonna drop his rock after one more hit. Like, he's gonna throw a rock and then... Yeah with, yeah, with how, yeah, with how often he's getting touched. Oh, wait, nope, he didn't even have to go... Yep, he's, he's gonna basically Atlas Stone almost every turn. Or technically every other. Well, he didn't even touch that time. Yeah, Scoble actually might be really good here. I still feel like you need a Stripper, though. Or at least, like, Attack Break or something.
Hold up, does he have a counter for- yeah, he has a counter for each time you hit him, what does that do? Or every time you get a turn. So it increases the attack speed. In addition, the attack power increases permanently whenever the Ancient Guardian gets a turn. So attack bar control is really beneficial there. Yeah. Also, the, that car is on ore or whatever. Is the only thing that's for is just crafting runes? Okay. Yeah, and this one is definitely a nightmare, given how long it's taking to clear. I mean, the other one I was able to clear with a nuke team in a minute. <laughs> Though, to be fair, what runes does this one even drop? I don't know. Because wasn't the, the other one um, the one that drops, like, Rage and Blade? Or... Just one drop rage, the other drop blade. I, I don't know. I didn't really pay too much attention to that. Because if the other one drops rage, then, like, screw this one. <laughs> well, that was the wave that had murdered you last time, right? Yep. Scoble OP. Scoble was like, fuck this nonsense. I don't like you. Get out of here. Exactly. And I'm sure that Delphoy lead helps. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Honestly, I think the Undines are going to be great for this, just because of that leader skill. Yeah. It forces you to use one element anyway. And this is his last phase. I remember that because of the two adds he summons. Mm -hmm. And you've got Ignore Defense with an attack buff. 25k. Eh, not enough to kill me. Yeah, it's not enough to kill anything. Unless it's a squishy. That is really fast hard style. Okay. You know, I doubt. Oh. Yeah. The longer the fight, the stronger he gets. Like, well, that was, no, that was more defense ignore. He made Dickwad ignore defense again. Even though he wasn't using a skill. You need to get rid of that Fran. Yeah, I know. I feel like you need to just straight target Fran, because that's that's dangerous. And done. And fall and blossom, very good. You heard? Fall and blossom. Now I don't have to worry about attack buff. I'd probably set your um, thing to kill Fran first. See? More ignore defense. That actually almost just straight murdered your Scoble. But yeah, Farron, you should probably set it to attack Fran first on auto. So it'd be, what, right minion? Okay, so the boss just straight ignores defense. Oh my god. Are these even dropping? Have you gotten a single ancient rune yet? Not one. What the balls? This should not drop normal fucking runes. That is stupid. Yep, yeah, I agree. Alright, so, I mean, that is definitely <clears throat> some very interesting mechanics. Um. Hmm. It's good take a decent bit of playing around to actually find a reliable team that's able to clear it in a reasonable time frame. Because I don't like having to spend five minutes clearing a dungeon. It hasn't taken me five minutes to clear a dungeon since I was like level 40. You know what's even better? Huh. I can't use Hodam. Unless I use an all light team. <laughs> so I'd have to do what? Like... Bella, Wadam, and like Lucas, and uh, uh, the, what else? <laughs> that would be so bad. Fran. That's Excuse a me. lot of healing. At that point, I wouldn't use Bella. Because Lucas does defense break. Yeah. But not particularly often. Yeah. But that is definitely 
a very interesting mechanic. It's gonna... Wait, what? <laughs> well, okay. Devilmon Dungeon is open, people. Go get your Devilmon. Woo, get me! Uh... Bernard... Galleon... Oh, I gotta get my Devil Man. Yep, gotta get the Devil Man. Devil Man. Uh, da -da, I'm why my brain is derping. Twins. There we go. Twin. Right. And. You can tell I haven't, I haven't had there a Devilmon dungeon in a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this right quick. Because God knows I desperately need these. Believe me, I really want to buy the packs they released. Oh my God, you get like 12 or 13 Devilmon. I can use every single one of them. Every single one. And there we go, Devilman. Woo! That was easy. Let's go ahead and feed this right quick. I think that ridiculous team that I had actually cleared it faster. <laughs> Who the hell even was that man? Back when I used to use Soha. Wait, who the hell do I even put this devil on? I just finished uh, skilling up my monkey. Oh right, I was thinking of skilling okay. up my wind monkey. So the question is, do we try to get an ancient rune? Or do we farm the experience? Uh, now I'm tempted to buy that stupid pack. Because the only reason I was I was thinking of like being like, eh, fuck the Devilmon. I mean, I just finished skilling off something. Who the hell would I skill up next? I really want to skill up Water Monkey, or Wind Monkey. For that stun chance and defense break. Fuck, I'll buy the $100 one. <laughs> What attribute scroll do I want? I just wouldn't buy it. Fuck Contrast. Yeah, but it's the Devil Mom. Hmm. I mean, truthfully, I guess that team. I will figure out a way to nuke these. I will. Because this is ridiculous. I need to make a guide on these. Like, I really need to sit here and figure out the mechanics of these and make a guide on it. Because I feel like a lot of people are going to struggle with the mechanics of this. I just leave that up to Matt's gaming. Dude, he posts like one video a year. This feels disgusting. I bought the two expensive ones. Your money. <laughs> Thank you, Devilmon, for all going into the first skill. Well, his first skill being, you know, near max is actually good. Yeah, but I really want the defense break with uh, more, you know, with the reduced cooldown so that he can violent proc and start destroying HP on Arena for my siege defense. Because you can just tank him with Arena, and if the Arena's not, like, God, it's. All right, but a really good arena is a problem. So he needs four more skill ups. I bought too many Devilmon. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. I have three left over. And my monkey's now max skill. Okay, Harmonia, do you really need five turns? God. Oh, God, that full team. Okay, so this team doesn't really work, it would seem. You see, I I'm trying to avoid having to manual it and all that. I just want to see if this ends up clearing it. I'd rather not waste the energy point. Yeah. Well, you do have the test feature. All right, let's well, summon all my scrolls. Woo, Wind Mermaid. Woo, Kung Fu Girl. All right, can I finally get LD Lightning? No. 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 Because, you know, why would I ever get LD Lightning, right? Yup. Hmm. I don't know. People in chat, what, what do you think? Should we get one of the packs? Ooh, Estella. Should we? I almost feel like the middle pack is really the better one because of the LD scrolls, but you get less double on. I don't know. Just LD, man. <sighs> Ow. That Ramagos just fuck my day up. It's Ramagos. Ram Ramagos no, just, okay. Screw this nonsense. This team isn't working. We'll do something different, but. Yeah, I don't have to worry about any bills immediately. Not until next month. I'm just trying to uh, build up some money in the in the bank account again. I mean, that's that's one reason why I'm doing the, the weekly streams is to, you know, try and see if I can use that as a supplemental income and feed my summoner's war addiction. <laughs> I just realized those two packs put me at 8,200 crystals. Good God, man. All right. I'm tempted to buy the third one and just dev them on the fucking Valetion. But it's only two... I mean... Nah. Two more? I still have three left. I don't know. Fuck it. Which one are you getting? Middle pack. Middle. Good luck on your LDs, dude. Because you actually get LD Lightning. There we go. Damn thumbprint didn't want to work. <laughs> Wait, what event is it saying I completed? The refund event. No, because it's only been 16. Oh, it's the uh, reappraisal stone from the vampire event. Ah. Oh, God. Alright, well... Anytime that I buy a pack, I always buy at least one premium pack. Always. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and, uh... Four Dell, Teor. Come here, Teor. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep. Come here, Teor. I just pulled you, buddy. Time to give you some skill-ups right off the rip. Here's the question. you have any of Seuss in those runes? Maybe. We'll see. Or are you going to try to ruin Trample, trip. Oh, not even one went in a squall. No, it did not. That's like his whole thing. All right. All right, so 20 Mystics, 3 LDs. Let's see what happens. Are right, we going to pull two Nat 5s in one stream. God damn it. It happened, like, five streams ago, but, you know, ouch. I mean, it's for a beast monk, so 16% crit rate's fine, but I really wanted some HP. Yeah. Oops, not info. I'll take it, I guess. It's the same speed. Alright, 
Now we're going back to farm up my Bella. Dude, I don't even know what to do with 8,200 fucking crystals. <laughs> Hold on, what's um, his strategy info say? They don't have a... doesn't show other people's teams. Um, I know, I just did I, 24 and all I got was Stella. I didn't get a single lightning from 20 scrolls. I mean, to be fair... To be fair, the lightning rate from the very first pack was, you know, absolutely insane, and it gave me Teor. So... Good luck. LDs! And you already have an LD Nat 5, so that means, you know, yes, you, can, I do. you can get another. Your account has been proven to get them. Nope. Okay. Nothing. Garbage. Nope. Okay. Uh -uh. Come on. Come on. LD Lightning. We want to see LD Lightning. Just don't let me press the summon button. I would love a dark puree, or... What? Whatever she's called. The dark the, the, the dark parrot puree uh, thing? Uh, Luna? Yeah. Wait, why, Come on! Why her? Why not like... Oh. Why not like Wadam or... I don't know. Oh, he's good, but don't you already have him? I already have him six star. Yeah, yeah, right. Ah. Well, on the positive side, my bell is at 14%. Hey. Happens every time. Only time I ever get LD Lightning is from TOA. <laughs> Dude, I really want tomorrow's siege battle for people to be like, Holy fuck, you already did it! <laughs> when they see my Bella defense. Yeah? <laughs> Imagine if Grago gets one. Oh man, I would love Grago to get one. Though he already oh, has over 700 base defense. Do I have any crit damage runes right now that I could use on Teor? You're looking for Rage, Fatal, Will, or Swift, basically. Alternately, Violent works. I've seen Violent Teors, but I don't really... I don't know. I'd rather him just, like, one-shot something rather than be forced to Violent proc to finish off Arena or something stupid. Yeah. Because, you know, why get something to, like, 2 HP when you can just clear it for way overkill? Especially if it's something like a Camilla. Because that bitch will just, like, violent proc itself back up to full HP next turn. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to play around with some things. Uh, not that. That's not what I meant to click on. Can't click on anything right now. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Uh, let's go back to farming this. Um, you know, as much as I really, really want to get one of those new runes and then see what they look like. Well, we already kind of know what they uh, look like. They're just slightly well. higher stats, which, I mean, you know, it's a rune. It's just going to roll something stupid anyway. Yeah. Wait, ancient rune of rare grade or above? Yeah, I think that they're all ancient. It's just that it doesn't say ancient. I think they're like a slightly different color. It, was, it almost looked like the color was off, at least to me. That's headache inducing, to be honest. How many uh, cars and runes did it take? Uh, 25, and then 50 of the essence. Hold up, I might actually have enough to craft one. It's under... Special. Agent. Okay. Or that. Sorry. So I guess I'll just pick... Hold up. Let's... That one has will. Okay, so they drop different rune types. So this is just a random one of any of them. But yeah, I have enough to craft two. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it just has a slightly different coloration. Oh, okay. Alright, I see. Um, Alright, so people in the stream, just so y'all can see this... It's gonna be hard to tell at the webcam. Also, you might as well... You see that little icon that's right above my finger? I know you can't really make it out on the webcam, but that little icon means it's an ancient room. Yeah, it's an A. Just, yeah. 
It just almost, it so almost anyone... looks like the um, the loading screen for Ark. Yeah, kinda actually. <laughs> so yeah, just interesting little tidbit. Um, I guess it's useful to know. Well, let me craft another one. See what it does. Yeah, let's let, let's see. Another rare one. Yep. Also, there's a white outline around the rune. Like it's a lighter yeah. color. Yeah. Yeah, there is a white outline around the rune. Yeah, okay. That's what I've been noticing. Was the rune was like a slightly different color. We got a six star, which is not friggin' rare. I don't want that nonsense. I haven't heard this song in a while. I don't know, I don't really listen to Headhunters all that much, so. They used to come on um, the. What was it? I don't remember that hard style uh, online radio I used to listen to back when uh, Swift Kit was a thing. Like it wasn't Chronic's Aggression. Right? No, Chronic's Aggression was the hard style, or uh, the heavy metal one. Oh, okay. Well, it was like metal and heavy metal. Okay. And they had some weird bands on there, like Helmet, Sub Dub Micro Machine. Yeah. But okay, so what I'm thinking, my plan's gonna be is to go through and get my. Belletti on Second Awakened. I don't. I mean, Second Awakened did 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 did. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say it all retarded like that just because we can. Awakened. I'm having a seizure. Uh, okay, you're taking the joke a little bit too far. That's not possible. Never before we die. You just did. <laughs> anyway, so plan is to go through get Bella Second Awakened. And then we'll end up doing another video or another stream probably next week since I do have to go back to work starting tomorrow. Well, technically today. Which gives you tons of time to farm this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can craft though, the rune. Though, where do you even use Bella? Siege. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you, do you ever, uh, do you have Bella in a, ugh, do you have Bella in a defense? I think I do. Yeah, those are different. Oh, okay. Which makes me mad that Will is the other one. Hmm. How's that? Yeah. But okay, so we can actually, you know, show up close without having to look at the annoying reflection of a screen. So you have the little icon where it says rare. There's that little A icon. So there's that. Then if you actually look at the rune itself, the picture of the rune, it seems like there's a bit of a bright glow around it. So, I mean, I guess it's useful to know, but in the same token, it's not, because you can only get these runes from one place. So... And I feel like and, the better stats on useful monsters is more important. Yeah, exactly. Just because you get a good rune, it's going to roll garbage, and then you have to use specifically the ancient reappraisals. Which, yeah. at least they're a thing. But then you also can't grind them with regular grindstones. You have to use the ancient grindstones. Which, wait, where do those come from? The bosses? The boss. Okay, so it just drops a conglomeration of fucking everything, which <laughs> makes the chance of getting what you want even lower. Yeah. It's like back when R5 used to drop the raid runes. Yeah. Like the rift raid. You know, the ones that do ally crap. Yeah. Ugh. But... Or rather, grinds for them, I should say. I but yeah. That. I think we're going to go ahead and hop off of here. I'm going to continue farming this, see if I can get Bella Second Awakened, go through, do some testing with her yeah. while I'm at work. Bella and, has a penis. And next Monday, whenever we do our next stream, we will go ahead and do a reveal on Bella. Nice and new and shiny. And also, hopefully, Taor. I'm going to have to kind of scrounge around for runes, but I'm going to see what I can do. So that'll be fun. But as per usual, I do appreciate every single person who came out to the stream, even if they were just lurkers. Keep in mind, the more you chat, the longer I stay on stream. And just overall, the more fun the stream is. So if you want to come out to the stream... For those of you who are watching this on YouTube, a link to my Twitch channel will be down in the description below. Please consider giving me a follow, and my streams are held every Monday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
Unless something crazy happens like this, for example. Yeah, unless something crazy like this happens, or if real life gets in the way. Last week's stream I didn't do until about 6 p.m. Central, because I just had a whole bunch of things I had to take care of during the day. Uh, but regardless, streams will always happen on Monday, so please keep an eye out for that. And please come out to the streams. Believe me, it honestly really does mean a lot just to be able to interact with people, you know, find people who have a similar interest. It's, I don't know, it's, it's fun. That's just play, just plain and simple. Most. It's fun. <laughs> oh, and somebody please Photoshop a black bar with a white word that says censored on it between Bella's legs. So anytime somebody says Bella is female or refers to Bella as female, you could post that picture with the censored bar dangling down. It'd be great. And this is the reason why I can't get monetized. A nice, long, thick, rectangular, censored bar. You can't skimp out Bella's bar, man. <laughs> I... I swear I'm gonna do that. I mean, I have Photoshop, I just don't really know how to use it much. Yeah, I, 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 I can't. This... <laughs> anyway. It could be anything! He could be hiding a squirrel! Okay, shut up. <laughs> anyway, we will see y'all in the next stream and the next video.